spoke too much. Close curtain is... From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Kansas City Chiefs. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Room here to run. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Mahomes now on first down. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 28 yards. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And there's a situation where as a tight end, once he gets that end zone in his sights, he's not going to back down from anyone. He doesn't worry about running to daylight. He doesn't mind running through contact. That's totally fine by him. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 23. Lawrence will throw. 
That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. ETN up the middle. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. On second and 10, Lawrence. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. In man coverage, your number one cardinal rule, don't get beat deep, and that's why the comeback. Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. for the Chiefs. Now Lawrence. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They give him a gain of 37. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively, and then they got hit with that big play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. Second and 10 now from the 27. Straight ahead, ETN. Oh, what a move. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. It kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second and three from the nine. Now Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jags go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, that hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. The 22 more yards there and another first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. On first down, Mahomes escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone, and that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now Mahomes. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Josh Allen with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. And he hits the open, but it carries in anyway. With plenty of distance there as he banks it in. Take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So put three on the board. A little bit of a hook on the driver that time. Looked a little bit like you, Charles, over on the eighth at Windermere. <laughs> you know me too well, partner. Except that he got his to hit a tree and kick back into the fairway. To the field goal, here's 
Butker to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. So time to see Jacksonville get on offense for the second time here in this game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. On a heavy rush, and down he goes. Ray Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. Fielded at the 33. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Mahomes to throw. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10 at their own 16. Here's Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. 10-7 our score after one, right here on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter. Here's second and five now from the 22. From the 22, Lawrence. He targets Ingram for another grab. 
third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first down, Lawrence. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run with ETM. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize the strategic football. And situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll run with ETN. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Lawrence. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Play action. It's Lawrence. And he'll just get rid of it. Nice progress down the field, was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Lawrence to throw. Jones has it. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, a gain of nine. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a new point there is they were able to connect. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, it's ETN. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Here's Lawrence to throw. Caught on the slant. 
That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Second and goal from the one. Lawrence will throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Zay Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half as they have taken the lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes now on first down. He finds McKinnon complete. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Pretty shifty footwork, but didn't buy it much. Call it a gain of a yard, and it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Mahomes now to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 22. Now Lawrence. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Looking to throw, Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. 
Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Mahomes going to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out, and we're going to get a review of that last play. Six now, first and ten. Now here's Mahomes. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Now ETN to start the drive. Oh, look at that. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 25 on second down, Lawrence. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They go play action now. Lawrence. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Lawrence. And able to find Kirk complete. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. 
that's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. But to throw again is Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch. But the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 34-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will stay a four-point game. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points, but this one winds up off the mark. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and get them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Eluding the pressure right. They'll get this off to ETN. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, of the pocket that they do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move 
and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. ETN once more. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage. But not much more than that. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Now Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Mahomes now on first down. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught, 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. And they got the safe completion on third. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And that will come the offense as they take over. A very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Lawrence, he completes it to Jones. A gain of three last play, this time they double it and pick up six. Defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. 
Here's a give to Etienne. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Brent, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now Lawrence on first down. Looking downfield for Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. They'll leave five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw Lawrence. And one more time, here's Kirk. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 33. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw got him a little too far. It brings up third down. Time routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, they can really throw off a play. Look like he let him go too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Again, it's Lawrence. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down about the two-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. From the two now, second and goal. Now Lawrence to throw. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Probably needs a help for this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurry. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. ETN. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence with a hook up to Marvin Jones. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it. 
keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. They juked him. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Second down at seven. From midfield, here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle is made at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. 
And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, the right side going to be caught by Hardman. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he's got it. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. They'll try again, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. That's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game, and by now we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, that'll bring up second down. But I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On second and seven, Lawrence. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Here's Lawrence to throw. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And now here comes Kansas City. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Foye Aluakon finding his way to the ball for a stop. A tackle for loss. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Finding room at midfield. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this one is incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second and very short, Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken a fourth quarter lead. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game.
after the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Draw play, ETM. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's 32. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Another tote for ETN. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Lawrence. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. to the two-minute warning. On third down, Lawrence. He's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this off to ETM. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. Now, Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. Lawrence. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. They'll look to throw. Man open, here is Jones. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing now, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. 
And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Back to throw. Lawrence finds his tight end, Ingram. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. He'll look to throw. Screenplay, here's ETN. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five.